What up, people? Uh, my name's Summer, and I thought I'd share some paranormal experiences with you today. Um, I wrote some down. I could remember. Uh, I watch a lot of other people, not a lot of other people, I watch one other girl on YouTube who does paranormal stuff, and uh, it's just so cool what, listening to her stories because I never write mine down. They're so normal for me and I never really talk about them too much because it's just like my regular life. And I decided that, you know, when I'm older, it'll be great to be able to look back and just see some of my life because I'm a mom. I'm not usually in the pictures and the videos. I'm usually the one taking them, of course. So, you know, I don't really have like an outside view of myself. And when I get it, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that right there, whatever it was. So I thought it would be really fun to start at least with, you know, documenting my paranormal things, because they're so common, and they're fun, and everybody likes that. And uh, so this one, I'm just, I'll just get right into it. It was the other day, and I was hanging out with my kids, we were watching TV, and uh, I was laying down. And I had just put my clothes in the dryer and I had a pair of sneakers in there and um sorry. Um so I put the clothes in there and I had set them and I knew that I was gonna hear them the whole time because they're sneakers and they're in a dryer. And that's, that's just it. I just had that thought that I was going to hear those shoes the whole time banging in the dryer and it was going to be really obnoxious. I just got a dryer, by the way. It's been like three years since I've had a dryer and I live in an apartment and I had to hang my clothes and it's just, have a dryer if you live in an apartment. Uh, so the children were watching TV and I was laying back here and I was watching with them and hearing the dryer, everything was normal. I ended up falling asleep for a minute, but then, you know, Got back up. I have kids. What are you gonna do? <laughs> kids shows. They're not always so fun. Uh, yeah, I got up and I was like, well, I'm gonna go wash dishes or do something because I didn't want to fall asleep again. And I went in there to wash the dishes and I thought, well, I'm gonna go check the dryer first, but then I didn't because I thought, oh, I'll just do it in a minute. And then a minute turned into like an hour because that's how life is. <laughs> so I went in there finally to get them and my dryer was wide open and stuff had been pulled out of it and I immediately was really confused because I tried to think did I do that did I go in there and stop it for some reason and then I came and I asked the kids you know why did you guys go in there and open the dryer even though to myself I knew why would my kids do that they don't ever do that that's highly uncharacteristic and they didn't leave they were watching TV the whole time so you know they didn't know what I was talking about so that happened my roommate said that you know the sneakers might have knocked the door open which I guess that's a possibility, but the sneakers weren't out and they're little kid sneakers. They're little Converse. So they're small, small shoes. They're around somewhere, but, um, so there was that one. And then the other one was another thing with the dryer and I put the clothes in the dryer and I never forget to set it before I walk away and I assumed I did and the next day I went to go get my clothes out and they were still wet and I was so confused and I looked at the dial and it had, it, I don't know if it stopped running when it got to the energy efficient setting. I don't think so. You have to set it to the energy efficient setting. It wouldn't just stop there because it's part of a cycle. Well, it was on that. I had to rewash those clothes, they were all wet. And then I dried it on that setting. It dried perfectly, so I don't know. Maybe somebody's saying, hey, Summer, this is gonna be perfect for you to dry your clothes. Exactly like that. Um, and then the other one, I was using a lighter the other day, and I'm like using it like this. So I, I just was lighting it, and the air wasn't on, and the fan wasn't on, and the flame came at me. And I stopped and I looked around and I listened for the air conditioner and I looked up at the vent and I looked up at the fan and I looked at my people in my house <laughs> and I don't know why it came at me. I immediately tried to light it again or I didn't try. I did because 
I can use my thumbs. I lit it again and it was totally normal that time so I don't know what that was. It was very weird. And then I think later on that same day my husband was putting his weights back and I had walked over there where he was sending them to, you know, I don't know why I walked over there. He's my husband. I kind of follow him around sometimes. Anyway, the mirror that we had against the wall just came down toward us. It's little. Like, a, you can't see. It's like that. <laughs> this is hard. It's like that. But it came falling on top of us. And I'm like, oh no. And I grabbed it. And he grabbed it. And it was just weird. And I looked and I'm like, dude, weird supposed to happen a lot. So, yeah. I guess those are my paranormal, you know, stories for the moment. I have a ghost cat too. You know, maybe we'll be able to share some stories about him one day. But, uh, yeah, I guess if this is interesting, I, mean, I guess if I like it, I'll show my kids lucky kick out of it. Then I might make some more of these, because, like I said, if I said, paranormal things happen to me all the time. Just weird, strange things. My life is magical. I am magic. I made magic children. And, uh, have a magic husband. It's all magical. Yeah, that's it. So, again, I'm Summer. Thanks for watching. If you did, if you didn't, then you don't know I exist, so it makes no difference. Uh, yeah, I hope to be on here again, like, talking to you and doing other things, because I have other things, too, that I do. <laughs> so, I'll see you later. Bye.